So you want to know how to set up DocuSign? Let's dive in. We're here at the main DocuSign website. You can see there's a lot of options. You have managed where you can see all the envelopes you have created. You have templates uh, where you can store all the templates that you have saved. We'll show you that in just a bit. The reports and lastly the settings where you can uh, change more things about your profile. You can change your billing plan, you can add your brands, your stamps, and you can edit things like your signing settings and your sending settings. Let's go over how to set it up for the first time. We can go to the Manage tab and click on Start Now, or we can just go to the Home and click on Start. What I'm gonna do right now is drop a file that I got from the internet, just an example of a simple contract. We could, of course, use one of our templates, but we haven't saved one yet. So there's our simple contract. We'll go ahead and add the recipients. We'll say Thomas, and then we'll add a second one named Charles. You can see that these have different colors and that's what's gonna be important in just a moment. You can change over here if you want it to be a needs to sign, in-person signer, or just receives a copy. We'll add both of them as signers. We can edit here to have an access code if you're a document is sensitive that might be useful for you we can change the subject of the email say simple contract we can add a message to the email and we can go ahead right here on the bottom right and click on next now that we have a contract we can start adding the fields that our signers can add we can of course say date we can drag this in and we can assign who it has to go to in this case over here on the top left you can see that we can change who is in charge of which can add I'm gonna add a stamp here we can then change to let's make Thomas party a or a Charles part at party a and then Thomas party B and that way you can drag them in after this you have a free text space what you want to do is click here on text and you just want to make that as big as your text area. You'll see something interesting. If we add a text, say over here when it asks for the state and you name the field as in state and then also you add a second text box and you also call it state. That way when the signer fills it in, it'll fill it in in both boxes. So let's continue with that. You can, of course, on the right here, change if it's, this is a required field or not, and change the formatting. You can change, of course, the font that it, they'll type, the size of it. We have over here the date, the signature, and also the name. So we'll add the full name, and then we'll change to Charles and do the same thing, the signature, a date, the date signed, and that could be also autofilled, and the name. Right before you send this, you're gonna wanna click on preview just to check out how that's looking. The cool thing about DocuSign is not only you have uh, the option to see how it previews on desktop, but you also have the option for iPad and for mobile. So we can click on mobile and see how that would look. Many people are signing uh, their documents on mobile so it's good that it has a good adaptation you can scroll down and see all the fields that one would be required and when you click on it if you already have your signature uh, added to DocuSign it'll be automatic I can scroll down over here this is the tablet view it looks pretty good and this is the desktop view. You can see over here it auto completed the name of Charles and it and it added the stamp field so that the party that is responsible for leaving a stamp can do so. Let's go down a little bit and at the end you'll see the date, the autofilled signature and the autofilled name. After this you can click after this is done, you can close this preview and send it to your signers. After this is done, you can of course save a template. Let, you can go to manage, click on send, and so you can see the document that we created. And you can go over here on the right and save as template. 
And now when you click on the templates tab, this will make it easier if you have several documents that look the same or the kind of same document that you're sending. You can name it as temp one and save and close over there. And that's done. And now you can go to templates and it's over there. That's all from me today. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and use our affiliate links. Take care.